Okay, we're ready to do some uh, some serious painting now. And I uh, went down to the store and I got my supplies for painting. What did I do with everything? There we go. So we've got our little rollers and brushes. Bought some roll of paper for about two bucks, three bucks, and we'll uh, mask around all of our cabinets. What else did we get? Ah, another big roller with some other rollers. That'll be good. Put that together. And something that uh, comes in pretty handy. So when you open your open your can of paint, this is like a plastic rubber lid, a little hole in it to let air in when you pour the paint out, and a little little lid spout pour it in. And then you can uh, hold this thing down when you're not in use. That will keep your paint at least fresh until you get a chance to use it all. And you're not pouring paint strictly from the paint pail, which uh, I don't know about you, but I can make a pretty terrible mess. So with that, we have some uh, blue painter's tape and I'm going to paint or tape around the uh, around the edge of the wall and I'll hang paper off of it and then we'll take a uh, smaller paintbrush and I've got a, another little paint pail that we'll dip our paintbrush in and we'll paint all the way around the edges and then we'll come back with a roller and paint with a roller. So with that said, it'll probably take me a little while to get everything masked off and start painting so that's what we're going to do. Have another light hooked up, which is uh, pretty bright, because I might run into the evening. So, let me get some stuff masked off, and then we'll get to painting. Stay tuned. Now, if you're like me, I don't have the patience to go around and try to. Let's see if I can't get this up here. I don't have the patience to go around and sit there and try to get as close to the edge as I can because I ended up having uh, gaps. So when you paint, you're gonna actually have a little bit of paint on the wall and it's gonna, it's gonna look a little zigzaggy. So another trick, don't worry about being so accurate. Let me get this in here. I know you're seeing the back of my head right now. What I'm doing is putting it right in the corner and I'm going to push it in close to the wood as I can get it. it out. Just like so. So it overlaps the wall and the uh, cabinet. Then I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm just going to score the tape right along the cabinet. And then I can peel that up like so. Voila. Now it's all as close to that wood as you can get by doing it by hand. So I think it'll go a little quicker because I don't have to be so careful putting the tape up there. I can just slop it in there, take a straight edge and, or a razor blade and just trim that and pull it off and boom, move on to the next spot. Anyway, hope that helps. Well, it took a while, but uh, everything that I need to get at least a mass around the edge of all the places that I'm going to paint are done. So we've got it on top and bottom, ceiling, walls, front, back, in and out, all that goody, good, good, good stuff. 
So next step is we're going to take our roll of paper, we're going to rip it into about oh, 18, 20 inch pieces, put tape on one edge, and then we'll uh, put it along our seam all the way around. And once that's on, then we will begin painting. The last things I will paint are the tops of the benches because I'll have to remove all the hinges and uh, paint those and then reinstall them. So that took a while. I gotta tell you, that was boring. <laughs> but it's done. All right. Well, on to the rolls of the papers. The papers. Okay. We've got a roller paper, got a roller tape. So what I'll do is I'll set it on the edge, pull it back just a little bit, and then right on the edge, just rip that off. And uh, I'll sit there and do that a few times. Get me a little stack of paper going. I get a little stack of paper, then, uh, then I'll take it and put my tape along the edge. Like so. And then we can take and put it up against our wall just like that. And if you want, just for grins and giggles, so the wind doesn't blow it up into your paint job, which will, trust me, ruin your whole day. Spot tape it onto the wall. Okay, so we do that with all of our little pieces. Overlap the edge of your paper here about an inch. Like so. Perfect. You don't have to worry about taping off the seams because, uh, you know, mainly the paint is going to be up here. It's not like overspray or anything like that. And nothing's going to get under it. So you don't have to worry about painting the seams. It's just to keep splatters or drips or anything like that from going on surfaces that you don't want paint. Because uh, then you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to clean that off. And well, better you than me, but I don't want to do it. Lord have mercy. My ends, there it is. Okay. what I've got to do all the way around everything that I have put uh, tape on the edge borderline here and then uh, once I get done with that then it's time to shake rattle and roll and throw some paint on so I'm sure you don't want to watch this part because uh, well it should go a lot faster than the uh, taping around all the edges and trimming that up but uh, still, it's a long process and it's kind of boring. So to prolong the agony of having you listen to me sing or talk to myself, I'll cut it here and then uh, start it back up when I'm ready to paint. Stay tuned. All right, this is uh, just about ready to start painting now. So I've got the uh, paper around on my shelving, cabinets, And it goes pretty quick. You just rip your paper and then go ahead and put it up there. And but I've still got the front area here to mask off. That'll take about 15 minutes. Rip all the paper, tape it all down, and get it all ready. And then we'll start painting. So uh, it's getting late and 
I think I'm about ready to call it a night. So, it is dark outside. Cool. Well, that's what I have accomplished so far. And tomorrow we will take our opener and we will bust open the top of that paint can and begin slapping it on. Cool. Well, stay tuned. I'll show you some shots after we get some paint on these things. Stay tuned. Okay. Moment of truth has arrived. So I've got my paint ready and uh, we're ready to pop the top on that. Put our little handy spout on there and then uh, fill up our little paint bucket. Well, not fill it up, put just a little bit in there. And then the idea is to go around all the edges against the wall and the cabinet with a small brush. And then we will come back with a roller and uh, finish off the rest. So I'll probably do it in sections here. I'd like to get the uh, cabinets done and then I'll work on the uh, on the benches last probably. So let's crack the top on this and see what our paint looks like. really dark which I think is going to give a pretty nice contrast so it's going to be your typical uh, man cave when it's all said and done but uh, we're going to take our take our brush and uh, go around the edges of our cabinet here oh yeah Yep, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna look pretty good when it's all said and done. Good color. And then we'll have some nice uh, cherry stained birch for the cabinet doors, I think. Yeah. There. Just like that. I'll give you a shot here. I always try to use the paint on the lid, try to get it uh, cleaned off before I set it down. And then we have a small roller that we're going to come back and go over everything so we get rid of our brush marks. like so cool well let me give you a shot of that how I'm doing it and then uh, I'll continue on stay tuned so that's the idea we're just gonna go around all the edges around where the tape is and then we're gonna come back with a uh, small roller and roll that paint on make it nice and smooth because right now I don't know if you can see it uh, plenty of brush marks in there. I'm sure when it dries it's not too bad but um, we're gonna make it look good when it's done. Okay hang in there. Well this is uh, what it's starting to look like with all the color on and uh, I've got quite the mess going here. But it's not looking too bad. That's about kind of what I had pictured. Alright, so that's the first coat. The uh, instructions say wait four hours and give it a second coat. So we will uh, be applying one more coat and then we can take off all this brown paper and see what it really looks like once everything's all cleaned up. Okay, so out of the whole thing I had one little drip 
and it was right below the window here and I just cleaned that off and it looks pretty good so I'm pretty happy uh, most people can't paint a nickel without getting more paint on them so I lucked out today we'll see what happens when the second coat goes on cool all right we're getting closer stay tuned well, it's kind of late in the evening now, and uh, we've got all of our painting done. There's probably a few little spots that I'll uh, go back over and make sure that uh, once I get all the hinges on the benches and stuff, that underneath them I'll make sure and get those painted. But uh, for the most part, I'm ready to start installing uh, cabinet doors. So, let me give you a shot of what we got, and... Uh, move on to the next project so we've kind of got our contrasting colors there and uh, it's not quite a blue but it's kind of like a deep gray and the walls were supposed to be a fog gray but they kind of come out <laughs> they kind of come out like lavender which uh, surprisingly uh, actually works in this little unit so everything's painted papers peeled off yeah And believe it or not I didn't have a big mess I've got a couple of spots here on the wall and that's it the rest of it well no mess just the way I like it okay so we have everything cleaned up and we are ready for our next project so I will uh, shop around get some birch plywood I think I'm gonna use half inch plywood for the uh, cabinet doors we'll prepare our measurements and cut our wood get our hinges and stain our wood and verithane or varnish and then we'll be ready to hang those bad boys so I'm pleased with the way it turned out I think it looks pretty good and it, uh, it's going along with the flooring and everything, so it is coming right along. All right. Well, that's it for uh, this stage of the project. And uh, if you like what you've seen so far, do me a favor and just hit the like button. That way I know uh, I'm heading in the right direction and you guys are liking what you see. And uh, that's much appreciated. Thanks for subscribing and, and uh, some of the comments that I get. So uh, a lot more to work to do. And uh, so stay tuned and uh, more coming at you.